So anyway, after all the Indians were murdered and, and the land taken over and raped and pillaged and the CN Tower is built in a, what do they call it, the World Trade Center built. Well, that was before, after the Second World War. Okay, the important, thing, the important point in American history to notice for anybody that hasn't noticed that the American Empire is the American Empire, where it came from isn't so important. I mean, all empires are sort of from the same thing. It comes from organizations, family organizations quite often, who have the power. And usually that means the weapons and resources. And I don't think it's ever been any different. And it's our choice now to decide whether or not it's a good idea maybe to change that. But uh, first of all, we have to know what it is. And what it is now is during the Second World War, the Americans decided, first of all, to wait, make as much money as they could through their corporations. Actually, America is a gathering of corporations after the Civil War. When was that? In the 1800s or something? Man, my dates are terrible. But anyway, the corporation started getting the power. And companies like IBM and Coca-Cola were making a lot of money on the war. And it was in their best interest for the war to go on as long as possible before jumping in there and being the heroes. And just about the time most of the Germans were dead and the Japanese were wiped out, the Americans decided to get in there and make a big show. Now that they had built many tanks and uh, airplanes and aircraft carriers, it was time for them to show their power. So they uh, walked in there and stamped around a bit and freed everybody. Blew up Japan with some horrendous atom bombs, which nobody quite understands why, because the war was practically over other than to show the power. And what they were saying with these atom bombs wasn't in this war. What they were saying is, we have now the capability to police this planet, which was the same idea as in the other empire, back when the Roman Empire was at full strength. They had the military to walk in and say, this is now Roman, and we're going to do this and this for you, and you are going to obey our laws and pay taxes to the Roman Empire. And this is a, sort of the same thing with the American Empire, except perhaps we get even a little bit less than the Roman Empire gave us. The Roman Empire gave us a, at least a place to have a bath and whatnot. The American Empire has given us mostly corporations that sell us shit like mm, Amazon hamburgers. And... The, short, the question is, what are we going to do about it? Uh, or is that the question? Well, the question might be, how many fish are left in the ocean? And how much longer can we dump poison in the ocean? And that all comes together with this question, why is the empire, why, why is the empire allowed to be? Or can we do something better with the empire? I mean destroy the American Empire might not be to our best advantage but it is definitely necessary to make it so that the American Empire is not sucking out the life of the planet pillaging for gold oil and mineral resources oil unfortunately is bringing us to a very hostile hate environment uh, you get the Muslims against the Jews against and then with the Christians and all this hate is making us blind to the fact that it is putting a damper on our survival possibility. And if anybody managed to see all the thread going through this, well, <laughs> good for you, because I don't think I can do it. But um, this has all been written up in Journal It Review, and if you go there and read it, I think you'll understand a little bit more. And... We go read Barbara Elba's thing as well. Well, is there anything else I wanted to say? Maybe, I don't know. We'll see how much time.